Hi students, in this last video, we are going to be talking about two other types of discrete distributions. Um, just as an FYI that there are more out there, and there are so many more than what we are talking about here. So the first one is hypergeometric. So not time-based, two choices, and the probability changes. So it's kind of like binomial, but the probability did not change for binomial, and here it does. So it's like the Bernoulli trials where we reset the experiment each time, except this time we don't reset it. So think about the marbles in the bag. We are not replacing the blue marble or whatever first one that we choose. So the probability changes for the next trial, and then it changes for the next trial. There is a fixed number of attempts. So just like in binomial, we're going to do 10 attempts, and then what's the probability of something happen? But that is conditional probability now. So for example, if I have a box of 10 loose bolts, and three of them are going to fit whatever application that you were trying to do, whatever desk you were trying to build, you choose four bolts from the box. What is the chance that two of them are going to fit the application that you need? This is the kind of stuff that hypergeometric um, can answer. Whoops. Geometric is also a similar concept, but it's asking a different kind of question. So not time-based, still two choices, two outcomes. The probability does not change, so there is replacement. But here we were looking at number of successes. Here we're looking at numbers of attempts until the first success. This one is also FYI, it is not in your book. And here we're not looking at what is the probability of getting a heads, what is the probability of attempts until the first success. We have an unknown number of attempts. So we are not saying in 10 trials, how much, how, what is the probability of this happening? We don't know how many attempts we have. But there is a fixed probability of success. So the chance of getting heads does not change throughout the trials. Oh, look, flipping coins. So in this case, we would be looking at how many times do I flip my penny until I get my first heads. It's possible that you'd flip the coin once and you get heads the first time. What is the chance of that happening? What is the more likely chance that you flip it a couple times before you get the first heads? Another example is hotel guests arriving and how many get there before the first person wants to pay with cash? So you could have the first person of the day walk up and want to pay you with cash. That's what is the probability of that happening? Or what is the probability of it's three people arrive and then the fourth one wants to pay with cash? And keep in mind, the probability does not change throughout. We do have an unlimited number of attempts. The trials are independent, so we reset every single time. And of course, there's no Excel function for this. So this is just an FYI. Here is your absolute need to knows about discrete probability distributions. Be able to describe what is it, <laughs> and then tell me what is x, little f of x, big F of x, and then of course this expected value mean concept. Compare the different distributions that we have talked about, specifically focused on when would you use each one. And then if I give you x and possibly f of x, you should be able to calculate the probability distribution function, the cumulative distribution function, and the expected probability for the basic problems that we started with at the very, very first videos, and then specifically for binomial and poison.